Well, first of all, uh, this evening we're here to celebrate uh, 20 years and the 20th anniversary of the formal establishment of diplomatic relations between Kazakhstan and Canada. And when one uh, reflects upon uh, the relation between two sovereign states, um, it's very, very helpful sometimes to examine uh, some of the uh, dynamics that are involved and also some of the institutional relationships. So for example, uh, there is the relationship at the commercial level, uh, trade, uh, two sovereign states, the entrepreneurs in each uh, are interested in, in, uh, in, in trading goods and services with each other. Um, because of the nature of uh, Canada, uh, geo, geo, uh, geologically speaking, uh, it's very similar in many ways with uh, the geology of uh, Kazakhstan. And so it's only obvious that in the area of mining, for example, a highly technical area, um, that new technologies uh, can be shared. And uh, we as Canadians are very pleased to see that uh, Canadian uh, mining industries and um, those in the energy area, uh, in oil and gas, etc., uh, collaborate. Because uh, in the world of today, where there's such a high demand for these kinds of uh, resources, um, we are not in competition, but rather should be collaborating to have the uh, available to the entire global community uh, these resources. Those countries that are blessed like Kazakhstan and Canada with an abundance of resources have a certain responsibility to the global community uh, to share those resources. Another field of, um, of commonality on the natural resources side, of course, in the, is in the area of uranium. And uh, Kazakhstan and Canada share a lot of the same uh, uh, technology uh, with uh, uranium uh, enrichment, etc. But equally, and this is very important, uh, that uh, our two countries share the fundamental value uh, that deals with the misuse of that uh, terribly important resource. Uh, we see uh, uh, the positive outcomes in the area of medicine, in the area of energy, um, but we equally are concerned and we share in the uh, area of uh, wanting to limit uh, the uh, proliferation of uh, nuclear uh, and nuclear weaponry, etc. On the um, on the state-to-state uh, -state relationship, uh, we in Canada here in Ottawa today are particularly pleased with the uh, the high level uh, um, of uh, uh, professionalism that the new ambassador uh, brings to Canada. And we thank the government of Kazakhstan uh, for identifying uh, such a, uh, exper an experienced uh, uh, ambassador to be part of the diplomatic corps. And as I said a few moments ago in addressing the, the gathering, that um, Constantine has, has hit the ground running. And uh, uh, he has been very wise to understand that Canada is a confederation. I, as a senator, I represent a province. Uh, within this confederation and he has gone out to the provinces and that is a very very prudent and wise thing uh, to do. Um, we uh, in the Parliament of Canada are engaged in what I call parliamentary diplomacy which is different than uh, from the diplomacy of the executive branch that governments engage in and so the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Canada uh, he interacts with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan and all our, the, the diplomats interface really as representatives of government to government. And there's been a very, very good relationship, uh, growing relationship on that political level, on the state to state level. I'm anxious to, see, to encourage um, more uh, interparliamentary uh, contact between the uh, legislators in Kazakhstan and the legislators in Canada. And as I mentioned, uh, uh, I'm very hopeful because Canada will be hosting in October of this year uh, the Interparliamentary Union uh, to which uh, the legislature of, uh, of Kazakhstan belongs as a, as a distinguished member uh, that we are looking forward to welcoming a, um, a, a good delegation 
uh, from Kazakhstan who will come to Canada, not only interact with Canadian parliamentarians, but indeed our colleagues from uh, the global community. What are you expecting for this uh, coming uh, uh, meeting of the parliament? Uh, well, the, uh, the agenda is very rich. Uh, and parliamentarians are going to speak with each other about some of the hot, uh, the hot topic issues, uh, issues of environment, uh, and again, uh, sharing ideas as legislators uh, who are more free uh, to examine and explore new kinds of ideas. Um, the exchanges and the interaction and dialogue state to state operates within a little more of a straitjacket. Uh, uh, the parliamentarians, as the word implies, is we like to talk. And through dialogue, uh, uh, we will have the opportunity to explore issues like that. With Kazakhstan and, um, and Canada, uh, there are so many areas of dialogue that, that uh, conjointly, we can be very helpful to other parts of the, of, of, of the global community. For example, uh, uh, Kazakhstan being a multi-ethnic society, Canada is a multi-ethnic society. Uh, we are both metropolitan societies. Um, by definition, being multicultural, we are multi-confessional. And so, um, you know, more and more, this issue of, uh, of interfaith and inter-ethnic dialogue, uh, the dialogue of civilizations, as some have called it, has become more and more an important part of the interstate uh, uh, agenda. So uh, I was pleased to hear uh, uh, the Canadian minister, uh, uh, Ted Menzi, raise that and, and, uh, and salute Kazakhstan, uh, who deals with those kinds of dynamics which we in Canada deal with. Would you like to visit Kazakhstan personally? Well, I, uh, I, I received a very kind invitation from His Excellency and uh, we're looking at all a question of agenda and, uh, and scheduling. Uh, I would like very, very much to, uh, to visit uh, your beautiful country and uh, more importantly to uh, enter into discussions with my counterparts, the parliamentarians and the, and the, uh, the president of the assembly in particular. Thank you very much. Thank You're you. very welcome.